Now at five, human remains have been discovered after days of digging at a home, and police believe they belong to a woman who went missing eight years ago. Friday night, Rick is off. Gray Hall is joining us. The big story on Action News is the major discovery in the Wissanoming section of the city. Crime scene investigators first arriving to that home on Wednesday. Action News reporter Annie McCormick, she's live outside that home there on the 5200 block of Burton Street with the update on this story that you saw first here on Action News. Annie, bring us up to speed on what you're learning about about this. Yeah, Gray and Shari, crime scene investigators have been on this block for several days now. We do have confirmed, though, that last night they were able to discover human remains in the concrete basement floor. For several days, crime scene investigators have blocked the 5200 block of Burton Street after receiving information that a missing woman was buried in the basement of this home. Last night, crime scene investigators found human remains about four feet under the concrete in the basement. The girl's been missing for about eight years, so it's crazy. The family was in and out of there all the time, so I mean, well, at least they finally found her. This neighbor did not want to be identified, but said learning why police are here is disturbing. I think it's crazy. I lived here for seven years and it's bizarre. I never would have thought. Midday, the head of the Office of Forensic Science came to the scene and so did the captain of homicide. Crime scene investigators had to pause digging through the concrete today because of the rain. There was flooding in the home. Employees from the Department of Licenses and Inspections began moving trash out of the home earlier this week in what has been described as a hoarding situation. Neighbors say they haven't seen the family members who live there for several days. And it still could take several days for them to complete all of this. Like we said, the LNI inspectors had to go in there to haul out so much trash because this was a hoarding situation. They also found several pets. Two kittens were rescued and taken to the PSPCA, and they're expected to come back here and rescue even more kittens that they believe are in the home. Now reporting live in Wissanoming, Annie McCormick, Channel 6, Action News. Gray and Shari. Okay, Annie, thanks for the update.